Today I'm going to be working on this Xbox One X. This was actually sent in to me by a friend of mine and he originally said that he had a overheating issue but basically I've turned it on, I thought it was just going to be a standard run in the mill service, you know it's an Xbox One X, they are pretty old now but it's not, it's an E102 error code and I haven't done one of these for a while so I thought I'd do one today. So, with that being said, my name's Dakota, I'm an electronics technician. I mainly work on games consoles, but I do work on other stuff as well. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, then be sure to get subscribed and turn on the bell notifications, and that way you don't miss any future videos. If you need to organise a repair, you can get in touch with me at thecoder.repair, and I'll do my best to help. And if you need any parts and supplies for the Xbox One X or any other games console, you can buy those on my online store at consolefix.shop. Links are all in the video description, as well as links to all of the tools and stuff that I use, which are affiliate links, so they do help me out. And also, if if you want to support me you can do that over on patreon there's a link in the video description to that as well the support helps me to keep these videos free and it helps me to do what i enjoy doing so with that being said let's get into today's video you probably don't give a damn about what i've got to say but just hear me out for a minute all right we all know that those sweaty little douchebags with cheesy fingers living in the mom's basement drinking red bull and simping over tiktok losers are gonna break the console and you and i both know that you're too cheap to buy off ebay you're too impatient to wait for aliexpress and you're just about smart enough to avoid amazon completely you can admit it because i'm exactly the same that's why i started my online store consolefix.shop I'll sell every part you'll need to fix the Xbox One, Series S, Series X, PS4, PS5 and Nintendo Switch consoles. So why not give me the money instead of some random dude on eBay? At least if I have it, you know it's not going to waste on some stupid thing like promoted eBay listings or food for the kids or something. If you give me your money instead, I promise I'll use it on useful things like buying views on TikTok. So before you decide to go to one of the more popular sites and line the pockets of some fat cat loser, take a look at my online store. Check out the link in the video description or the top pin comment and get 10% off any order over £25 during checkout. Alright, now you can go back to watching this douchebag on YouTube trying to fix something. You can't say stuff like that on an average dude. You're not my dad dude, don't tell me what to do. That's what you think, Phil. Wait, what? Mom? Um... Okay, okay, so I've already taken the back screws out of this, so this is loose here, but yeah, then I decided to stuff it, let's just press record. So if I just connect this up to the capture card, because unlike Sony, Microsoft allow you to actually use a capture card and only enable HDCP when you're playing a movie, which is how it should be done. No disk in the drive, okay, and if we just go to the capture card, right now as you can see we've got a blank screen here, so we don't get the no signal, oh there we go, okay, now it's just fired up. So yeah, we get the E102 error code here, so I'm going to sync a controller. That took a long while to actually get on, uh, to actually uh, enable the display. If we go to troubleshoot here, we can reset the Xbox, we can restart the Xbox, all of that good stuff. Uh, but we can't go to offline system update because we don't have a USB plugged in, but that's whatever. But yeah, so we obviously get the, uh, you know, the error codes and stuff like that. So I've got a feeling that the hard drive has probably died in this because they are pretty old. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Xbox taken apart. And there is actually a little bit of an issue with these. This is actually filthy, so it's going to need a service, but I can do that at the same time. But there is actually an issue with these in that there's two types of SATA cable that was used on the Xbox One X. There was a Foxconn cable, which was absolutely fine, no issues at all. But there was also a cable from a company called Amphenol. And the Amphenol cables are infamous for failing on the Xbox One X. I don't know why, I don't know what it is about them, but they tend to end up with broken wires inside. So the problem we get is we can replace the hard drive and it will work fine for a little while. And then, you know, a dodgy wire inside or something like that will cause it to corrupt the software and cause it to have issues further down the line. So whenever I get a console with an Amphenol cable, I try and replace it if I've got a Foxconn cable. But I've got a feeling this has probably got the Amphenol version in it. Yeah, this is an Amphenol cable. All right. So if we look on the hard drive cable here, so if we look at this cable, it's made by Amphenol. Yeah, and these are not great cables at all. 
But that's neither here nor there right now. The first thing I want to do is just check this hard drive on the PC and just see if the hard drive itself has failed or if it's reporting as good. Am I going to need to replace it? And there we go. I'll plug this into the PC. Okay, and that's just loaded up on the PC, but it did take a little while to actually recognise that it was a drive. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. I just loaded up Crystal Disk Info. I'm just going to wait for that to load. It's taking a while. I'll fast forward to when it loads. I'm still waiting for that to actually load up. So, it's been a couple of minutes already, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue to strip this thing down and... I'm going to get it all ready to go back together, so that way then I can just put it all back together and it'll be good. So I'm just brushing this out, just make sure it's all nice and clean. Okay, still not loaded. So yeah, that is taking an awful long time to boot up. I don't think that hard drive is any good. Alright, I'm going to commit a sin, because I can't be bothered to find my X clamp tool. So I'm just going to remove this with the screwdriver. I don't recommend doing it this way. Get yourself an X-clamp tool. I do normally sell them on my website, but I'm out of stock. I'll get some more in stock. Okay, so there's that. With a nice X mark in dust. Pop that off there. And I'm going to clean up this thermal paste. Still hasn't loaded, by the way. There we go. Let's clean off this as well. There we are. So that's all that done. I'll pop on some fresh thermal paste here. Good. And then pop the X clamp back on. So basically, while I'm just waiting for this to load up, I'm just servicing the thing getting everything ready to go back in, cleaning everything as I go along. I'll just make sure that we completely dust free and it'll be good for another couple of years. There we are. And then I'm gonna blast this outside. So I'm just gonna use a, a blower to get rid of any dust inside the power supply and the fan. Just make sure it's all nice and clean in the fan. And there we go, beautiful. That's all nice and clean, both sides. And we're good to go there and that software just is not loading up with the hard drive plugged in so we definitely have a faulty hard drive it would have loaded by now and i have tried loading it twice so it's definitely not the pc what's acting up it's definitely the hard drive so yeah looks like we're gonna have to replace it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just get this reassembled enough I can pretty much fully reassemble it, apart from obviously putting the hard drive back in and screwing the case back on. So I'm going to get it reassembled. And then I'm going to unplug that hard drive and I'll pretty much guarantee that Crystal Disk Info will load up straight away. Right, that hard drive, I can now hear trying to fire up. It's trying to spin and it's struggling. It's just really not spinning at all. So it's kind of starting to click a little bit. I'm not sure if that's going to come across on the audio, but I can hear it trying. <laughs> it's really trying to fire up. There we go. Now it's just fired up. Yep. The drive is bad. Knew it. So it's not even loading the software yet. We can't even... Oh, there. Now we can. Uh, let's just have a look and just have a see what's going on. How much use has this had? Not that it matters, it's dead. Oh, oh, it don't sound good. Yeah, so it's not even gonna tell me how much use it's had. It can't, it just can't read it at all. It's really, really struggling. Okay, I've just unplugged it. Uh, okay, it is reading it. Well, it's read it, so it's, it's had. There's no way that's powered on 49,000 times, surely. Uh, yeah, he's had well over a year of, of constant use, so there we go. Uh, there's no way that's been powered on 49,128 times. Uh, <laughs> how many years is that? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> that ain't been parried on that many times. Um, once a day for 134 and a half years? No. <laughs> Divide that by 10. If it got parried on 10 times a day. <laughs> There's no way it's been parried on that many times. That's wrong. Alright, so I've got myself a good drive here, but unfortunately I don't have a replacement Foxconn SATA cable at the minute, so unfortunately I'm going to have to put this one back, but the issue with this console, it's not caused by the cable, it's been caused just by a faulty drive, you know, these hard drives, these mechanical drives, I mean, any drive really, doesn't matter what it is, it will fail over time, and this one has just come to the end of its life, so, yeah, I think it's fine to just put the Foxconn cable back in. Obviously, if he has a, has issues in the future, then I'd replace it with a... Sorry, not the Foxconn, the Amphenol. If he has inf issues in the future, then I will find a Foxconn cable out. But at the minute, unfortunately, I don't have one to hand, and I don't have time to find one. It would take me hours to find a Foxconn cable, if I've got one at all. So I'm just going to drop this back in. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that done. And now, you'll see that it should boot up a lot quicker. It might try and load up and then it'll fail. Because this hard drive... Oh. Oh, that scared me for a second. <laughs> it shut straight off. Uh, it was because I pulled the power out without shutting it down fully. It's fine. There we go. Yeah, straight away. That's just come up. Instantly. Instantly, that's just booted up. Okay, so... If we go back to the desktop here, I'm just going to download OC1, I've got the link just here. That's going to download, and then I'm going to have to copy that over to a USB drive, so as I can install it on the console. Okay, so I've got a USB drive here, I'm going to format that using NTFS. Okay, and then I'm going to extract OC1. onto the USB. So extract the system update for all that, put it onto the USB, and in a minute, once that's extracted, it'll start copying. There we go. So this is a fairly slow USB, so it's gonna take a few minutes. I'll leave that going. While I'm waiting for that to copy, I might as well just try the reset and remove everything, because it could have the same or a later version on it. I don't know, it come out of an Xbox. The hard drive, I mean. No, never mind. I guess we'll wait for for uh, OSU one. Okay, that's done. It's all copied. So if I unplug that, just pop it in front of the console, and then go like this: offline system update, and that should accept an update. So this is the latest version of OSU one. There we go. So that's just accepted the USB. It's the latest version of OSU one. So it's going to update it to the latest version of the operating system. And this is probably going to take around about 10 or 15 minutes because, well, it's a spinning drive. So, yeah, <laughs> it takes a while. All right, there we go. That has fully installed the software. So that's pretty much it for this video. The software has been reinstalled. That hard drive was just completely stone dead, which is why it was giving me the E102 error code. And also it needed a service as well because it hadn't been serviced in however many years since the Xbox has been out, what, 2017, I think? So we've had about eight years, seven years, eight years. So yeah, it's working now anyway. That's the main thing. I will leave the rest of it up to the customer to get sorted out. You know, obviously he needs to re-log in with his account and stuff. He's going to have to re-download all his games, but... That's just one of those things, unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do. Not without sending the hard drive off to data recovery, which just isn't worth it because everything is on the cloud anyway. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll always do my best to answer. If you do need to organise your own repair, you can get in touch at thecoder.repair. And if you need parts and supplies for these, you can get those on my online store, consolefix.shop. As always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications if you're new to the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a like and let me know down in the comments down below. But with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye for now.